everyone, and I hope you are enjoying this fine morning on Halloween. I know I am. I'm up here at the garden listening to all the daybirds and the pileated woodpeckers. So anyway, today we have a very special guest appearance. Uh, her name is Lexis, and she has been a family friend for a long time. We will also delve into a very interesting mushroom that uh, just happens to come in abundance on our land, the honey mushroom. Lastly, we will be giving an interview of one of the chickens. It's a very, very special chicken. Can't tell you what it is right now, but hopefully you will enjoy. This beautiful tan mushroom, commonly known as the honey mushroom, was hidden in plain sight. Among the fallen trees and clear-cut branches, hidden away from sight, this mushroom grew most of October. So as you can see, this mushroom grows hair-like filaments all around the stem and the top. It has very close gills with a ring that is a partial veil when young that detaches as it grows. Usually along the stems, you'll see this hair-like filament. Usually that's with young age. This mushroom is pretty easy to identify, although there are multiple types of this species. You have the ringless, which will not have that partial veil. Uh, you have this mushroom, which is the ringed honey mushroom, Amaryllia melia. And as you can see, the tops kind of split and have a darker nipple on the center. Here is a whole bunch of the mushrooms when we first found them. They have already sporated, leaving back a white spore print. And it keeps going up, too. I'm not sure we're gonna go 100%. I ain't 100%. Would you like some uh, honey mushroom? You ready? <laughs> so I got some wild honey mushrooms, fresh out of the pan, and we are about to try it. We're gonna eat a small amount because if you eat too much of this at first, you can get sick and not die, just have very bad stomach problems. But here we go. <laughs> wild. Honey. It smells good. 
That's Pretty fantastic. Good. Mm -hmm. That's would, actually really good. I would compare that to a kind of a portobello mm -hmm. or kind of like a really earthy yeah. tasting mushroom, almost like a. It kind of has like a very meaty texture. Almost like texturally, it's almost like a canned mushroom. Yeah. Apple. Yeah. It's pretty good. I know what you're talking about with a canned mushroom. That's because you have to cook it so long. It gets... It's no morel, but it's actually really close to it. That's very good. I'll be eating more yeah. of those. Heck you know yeah. it's good when you want to eat more. <laughs> yes, I'll be eating a lot of those. After you find out that he has to That's a problems. good tasting mushroom. I'm afraid I'm going to hit my fingers. It's not a good one. It's kind of, but not really. I wouldn't eat it. Move. I don't have anything. Bringing on to the stage, we got Scramble. <laughs> Say hi, Scram. So, her name is Scrambled after scrambled eggs. Everyone thinks it's a little bit weird that I named all my chickens after breakfast foods, but it's okay. We also call her Floppy Comb because of her very, very large floppy comb. Now, I've heard that a chicken with a large comb it means that they will be laying lots of eggs, and she has proven that to be very true. She right now is the earliest layer. Around seven o'clock, she'll get up and she'll start laying her eggs. Hey, baby. She's very agile. Uh, I believe she is right now at the top of the pecking order. It used to be bacon, but now it's scrambled. She has surpassed and won victory of that position. <laughs> She's very, very uh, interested in a lot of things. She is not a shy chicken. She's not very cautious either. Sometimes she'll go into the road and I have to go take her back from that. She's incredibly sweet though. Uh, she's the one who loves to take rides on your shoulders and just go everywhere with you. She'll run when I call her and She's just super sweet. Hey, Sam. <laughs> it's my first time ever doing this, so we're pretty... Ooh! Ooh! Hold up. That one's actually kind of big. That's actually big. Okay. <gasps> wow, that's exciting. I think this one might be Mr. Lily and Esther, baby. Oops. Let me grab some more. The ducks lay in the very back, so it's kind of I live hard sleep. to get to. That's kind of weird looking. This one's like pale. Um, I don't think that one. It's farther. Yeah. That might be a no. Let me grab some more. I think it'll all lay up. Another one. This one's pretty pristine looking. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this, these mm. ones might be some of her new ones since they have barely... Might, I think that one might be her new one yeah. that she laid. From the camera angle, it kind of looks like it's... Oh, wait, there's something floating in there, too. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to get Dad to help me with this because we're really bad. Yes. <laughs> but number two is really big, so I think we're pretty good on that part. Then there's three chicken eggs in there. Yeah, little omelet's been laying a lot. Oh, a eggs. lot, a lot. Here's another one. This one looks really new, actually. Yeah. Since it hasn't been. Yeah. It looks. I mean, this might actually, since there's two on both sides, I don't know. Yeah. Huh. That could be in the future. Yes. Yeah. She's got a late year. Maybe. 
This one could get big. This seems only a few days old. Yeah. Yeah, we have, uh, there's two more down here. Nine in total. But autumn, eight, quite a few. Yeah. 